Hello, it's Sarah. The house is empty and I should be on the treadmill, but I decided to come in here because I am in love with these colors. And I can't wait to see what it looks like. So this is part three of my February art journal page. And I'm ready to get this thing popping. So to do that, I like to use, you know guys, say it with me now, floating. So I'm going to get, I have a mop brush here, and I have a couple different angle brushes. Um, and what's great about um, floating with mi mixed media is that it can be rough. It doesn't have to be as perfect as it would if I were decorative painting. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. I'm looking for my purple, my little purple one, my little purple angle brush. Anywho, um because of the textured background and oh my gosh why can I not oh thank you this is my little one this is a this is my artist club and I don't see a number now oh a three this is so I just graduated up to bigger but I don't want it to be too too dark and you know my go-to color for shading behind everything is generally Payne's gray which is a pretty dark color and when you're a heavy hand as I am I can just darken everything up so I'm gonna consider not using Payne's gray let's go with oh and you know what we're gonna do oh my gosh candy bar now I do want to pick a blue and I think I am going to go with Payne's Gray. It's just so dark, though. Um, you know how generally when people do um, mixed media, they, they'll either use a black smudgy pen or something like that. I have both my birds in here with me today. Kiwi, what's up? See, here's Kay. Don't poop on my piece. And I have my parakeet that was given to me. And, man, she has been peeping like crazy so I thought let me just bring her in here with me get a sip of coffee sorry I'm starting out today like it's actually it's freaking 12 o'clock <laughs> um, Joe took Maya to get air mm. and um, I just did not feel like getting on the treadmill I want to paint so paint's gray a little bit of that sorry for all that talking but you know sometimes I gotta talk and I'm going to start with, this is like my half inch. You get water on your brush. You blot on a paper towel. And then you corner load. Just put a teensy bit on the corner of the brush and blend it in so that you get a graduation of color from darkest to middle to light to water. And you want the water there because, see now I'm doing Payne's Gray so I have to focus. Watch how I'm going to make this fence pop. So maybe I'm just going to put a little bit under. See how, and see what a heavy hand I am? Because that could be much, much lighter. I'm not going to beat myself up though. And then when I run out of paint, because I know I have so much water on the brush, and then you use your mop. To kind of if it's a little too dark I you this is not mopping correctly I'm really pulling the paint down you generally just want to tickle it at the bottom to um, collect the water almost so I'm corner loading and then I'm gonna reload my brush right there hi are you gonna talk nicely because you really were ranting and raving this morning I'm gonna go under this one you know what this is gonna be a lot of shading because I want to shade on top of the items as well so on the house on the roof on the so watch here I'm gonna oops my brush is splitting that generally means you don't have enough water in the brush or you just have a crappy brush sometimes a combination of both so I'm sticking let me go in a little closer and I'll forget but you know I'm sticking the color edge up against the house under the eave and just pulling my brush down. But see the water, you can see the slickness, right? 
and I'm just going to stop right there. I'm going to just get a little more, start at the top of the roof. Am I in the shot? Yeah. Now I'm on putting the color down on the background, not on the house. Right up against the edge of the roof and stop. Is that too dark? I don't think so. See, I actually really like it. I like that I'm a heavy hand. I like the way it looks. But basically, I'm going to go around everything to get it to kind of come off the background, to separate it from the rest of the piece. And then you can um, do more stamping and stenciling and spattering on top to kind of create to say that like it's not just sitting on top it's part of the whole piece oh I don't know if you saw that I put this little top of the um I might not have shared that uh, ended up I guess last night I glued this little top part of the um, chimney it says full of joy from that little piece of paper so I have to put a little bit there but sometimes you really want to let it dry because if you put the wet brush, you'll pull off what you did. So floating is a bit tricky. Those of you who do not have any interest in floating, don't do it. It may frustrate you. And I don't want that. I want you to enjoy whatever art you're making. Your art is not going to look like mine. The, the whole purpose of this, of me doing an art journal page a month, is for me to continue. I love um, creating art and because it takes me, I am actually getting my own style now. I'm, I'm realizing, because coming, I, I repeat myself a lot, but coming from decorative painting, you made someone else's work. Someone else designed the piece, which I loved because you don't have to think. I knew what to do. It was right there in front of me and when you're done, you're done. But with this, even though I used this other piece, which is actually, this is from a, I think it's a Recollections paper pad and I think it's called Mixed Media or something. Um, I just cut this out of a piece of paper. It was already collaged together and glued it to a thing to make a cover quickly. But then when I saw it, I just loved it. It felt like, yes, I'd like to recreate that. So I kind of just took put my twist on it. So this one wasn't truly from my brain. But I don't think a lot of art is truly from your anyone's brain because it's inspired by something, right? Um, and then you put your little, see, look, it's splitting, but I can make it work. You put your twist on it and please do what you like. Don't do it just because I do it this way. Don't float if you don't float. Like just outline it. So there's a couple little hearts here. Look, I did my little bird. Did you guys see? He's so tiny. Um, but I'm gonna go up the left side of these posts at the top. I mean, I probably should go up the whole thing and I really wanted to use pink on the pink. So when I get to the house, when I outline everything. So this could take a minute and I could go off camera because, you know, it is isn't. It is a time consuming process that I really, really enjoy. So that's why I do it. And if that's what I'm saying, if you don't enjoy it, please, please, please don't ruin the experience by struggling through something you're really not enjoying. That's not the point. But man, I love this background. This background is like, I think this is going to go down as one of my all-time favorites. I may just make a ton of these backgrounds because it's so stinking cute. And then you always keep a Q-tip on hand because for some reason this is looking really smudgy and I didn't like that. You can't have a smudgy heart. Well, you can, but if that's what you like, oops all the bristles on the surface because if all the bristles aren't on the surface you basically just get a dark line just like I did there you need all the bristles because there's water involved that's why it's called floating 
the water has to, the paint floats on the water, right? Sort of, kind of. That's what I've decided happens. And then the bristles pull it. All right, so does that look good? I love, love, love it. All right, so let me show you. I'll do another because there's also highlighting. You can highlight, so we could come back and highlight everything. But for a mixed media piece, like I'm, I have to go out. Like, look at the difference. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna get either chocolate cherry. Chocolate cherry could look really, really good. Or candy bar is. Let me see if this is red or brown. I think this could work. Mendicino is a really dark pink. So it's a toss up. Like, see, that's the thing too. With decorative painting, someone else picked the colors for me. <laughs> Cause I can't make decisions. It's, it's not my thing. Uh, I think, I know this would be popping. I'm going, I'm going bright. That's just how I roll. And then at the end, I am going to do something more with black. I'm definitely going to do a little, bring this black in somewhere. I mean, there's a lit, you know, the stamping is done in black, but that's not, um, oh, oh, and the other thing is I found this little scrap of lace. It's going on here, guys. It is going. It's a tiny bit too short. But I found it, and I think Miss D might have gifted me this, although I'm not positive. But I'm putting it. Oh, I love, sorry, sorry, I get so excited. This piece is, I have to say, yes, I did say already, probably going to go down as one of, if not the, well, I just love the colors. Because I've done things like this before, houses. They're my fave. Like, I love home, I love houses, but... Man, I did not know that these colors would just make me so happy. And guess what? They might not make me happy all the time. I may, It may just be what I needed today to make me happy. And like instead of going all the way around everything, let's see. Say the light, okay, the sun's on this side, so we have to go. We'll put the shadows on the opposite side and underneath. I mean, you could have gone crazy too. Like when I get my um, p pens out, I will decide um, if I want to really make a nice big uh, frame around the windows or whatever. So all that line work is just having fun. You're just going to continue on doing, and I think I'm going to go down this side of the door. I'm going to go around the window, and I think, so the sun's hitting this side of the roof, so I'll shade the other side over here. That's That was never my thing either to know, like, where to shade and highlight. I mean, sometimes it's kind of easy to figure out, but maybe I didn't even need to do that. And see, I grabbed the paint. I, you're not supposed to pull the paint off where you just shaded. But, I mean, it. you can if, if, you know. All right, anywho. I just needed to calm that down. So I'm going to go around the left side of these hearts. And see, I'm just going right back to my runway here where I already loaded my brush because there's still plenty of paint there. And as long as I have enough water on my brush, I can just do that. You don't have to reload every single time. And that become it's like it's a feel. You'll you'll feel it. You'll understand once if you've done it enough. Um, once you've done it enough, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna go under here. Starting to come together. So I'm gonna do something here. I guess I should shade it, but I already shaded under. I gotta go under the window. This little round window. I mean, I think I'll go all the way around it because it just, it'll set it onto the roof instead of being just like, isn't that color gorgeous? 
It's, I'll tell you what it's called. It's called Mendicino. Rouge Mendicino Transparent. It's a transparent. <gasps> I guess I should go all the way around the windows too. Oops, see I stuck my hand in the wetness. You gotta be careful. So I'm not fully reloading because I know I still have water on my brush. That's the thing. I'm going to go all the way around because it just didn't look right with nothing there. Hi, birdies. OMG, you guys. It's starting to come together. I'm going to do some... I think I'm going to use um, my favorite brown, which is burnt sienna. There's raw sienna, but burnt sienna is more like a reddish brown. And I'm going to shade my fence. And that should really make it look um, a little more dimensional, I guess. And then when we outline everything, it'll really help, too. See, there's a lot of water. I want you to see this. You see all the bubbles? You see the bubbles there? So I had, I mean, and I could blot and get rid of it. So that's a lot, but maybe I'll just add a little more paint to kind of even it out. And, well, I mean, it's a lot, but, like, so I'm a heavy hand, but I like that. I like, let's go, I'll go back up a tiny bit. And then, what did I say? So the shading is going to be on this side. It's a lot of paint, but I like a dark float. And I just pick it, I go right back to that same runway. And I, I should shade around this, um, what is it called, post or whatever. It's not called a post. A picket. See, I'm losing some of the color, so I'm going to go back in, get a little more brown. Darken it up a little. Am I in the shot? I really hate that because I get so into what I'm doing, man. I really do. Up under the little bird's butt. Give him somewhere to sit. Looks like he's, uh-oh, that doesn't look comfortable. But he's on his feet. Why in the shot? Good. Now look how that just brought the fence to life. Hello, fence! And then we want to go like this. This is really cool when you do this to a fence. So I'm just going to get some nice dark paint. And I'm going to go, oh, this side again. I want all these puppies right here. Am I in the shot? Oh, got to check. But see, all the bristles are on the surface. I'm not picking up and just doing this. You need the water, too, to, to make it flow from dark to medium to light. And you can do this with your um, Fabricastel big brushes and just smudge it, smudge it out, right? So I guess I need to do a little bit on the windows and bring them to life. I think I might use a yellow. I'm going to take a sip of coffee, but man, isn't it coming together? Oh my God, I love it. All right. Uh, and I'll bet you the candy bar, what, what was that other color I was going to use in the red? Candy bar. <clears throat> I'm going to go around the picket. Ah, uh, see, now I've already done everything with candy bar. I mean with Mendocino. But candy bar would have popped it even more. Because it's a little bit, it's a tone darker. Like, oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't go. All right, I'll just stick with the Mendocino. But it might have been a better choice to do the candy bar. Because then it would have played into this brown, too. So there's something to be said for color theory and all that stuff when designing. <coughs> so... Decorative painting, if I'd have paid attention <clears throat> or taken a color theory class or whatever, <clears throat> I didn't. I just liked the fact that everyone did it for me, that those teachers took the time to pick the colors and all that stuff. 
and I didn't have to think about it. I liked being a bottle baby, so now I'm paying the price <laughs> in a way because, I mean, if you want to design your own stuff, you kind of have to know what the colors are going to look like. <clears throat> but see, I just set that door behind that picket. I'm going to have to shade my, these things now, right? But what color, you might ask? I should shade my um, sun as well. So I'm going to take that. I love burnt sienna. Like, that's my favorite brown. So I would just tend to always use that, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Kiwi. Isn't this so fun? I love it. All right, I'm going to shade behind, like, back here. I just flipped the whole paper around for no reason. All the bristles on the surface, keeping the color edge up against the rim of the sun. I'm going to stop at the heart and follow the edge of the heart around, and then just like that. Now I could highlight everywhere I didn't shade, I would highlight. I got to finish up my little birdie. So these things, I got to figure out a color. And there's lots of colors in the background that I could pull forward. And that's really what I want to do. I don't want to bring other colors in that are completely not going to blend in. So there's no greens back there because I was totally just going to go for um, black green. Which, I mean, it wouldn't look terrible. But I'm, uh, no, I can't do that. I'm going to go with, and you know, I almost want to just go with this yellow. And just highlight it like, you know what, I'm just going to use the Burnt Sienna. I think Burnt Sienna will do fine. Um, but I was going to say, like, to make it look like the light shines through, that's what I always think I want to do. But I think this Burnt Sienna is going to look just fine. I'm going to go all four sides. So... And then the little birdie, I'm just going to go on both sides of that. So I think I might just go all around them just to make them show up. Now that looks really wet, so I'm going to go the other side first. Because I'll pick up what I, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry, I will, yeah, I'll pick it up with the other end of my brush. I'll pick up the float, the paint that I just put down. And I don't want to do that, so I want to wait till it dries. Let me do his little tail. Because I'll outline him more. And then, oh, you know what we're going to do for to highlight the hearts? I'm going to use this. This is the Neon's Fiery Red by Americana. It's fluorescent. And we'll see what that does. And it's a very sheer... Transparent. I'm going to have another sip of coffee. But my little parakeet is being quiet. She was freaking out this morning. I think she just really is feeling comfortable here now. And if we're not paying attention to her, she's just like, hello. But man, she was going off this morning, weren't you? So I brought her in here with me. And she's just chilling. This is Hot Shots. It used to be called Hot Shots. Did I just say it was called Hot Shots? No, it's just called Fiery Red. It used to be called Hot Shots Fiery Red. I'm going to go down this side of the roof. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't really like it. And down this side of the house. I don't know. It's not doing... I think it looks way better on red. And I should have gone around this post better. I mean, it is kind of highlighting it, right? Let's do the hearts because that's what I wanted to do. I can always take it off the house. It is kind of making them pop, right? It is. All right. Might want to keep that then. I'm not shy of fluorescent colors too. I really like it. So I think it's, I think it's good. Um, I think that's all I need to do, guys. Um, 
so uh, I might as well put a little along this eave I don't know don't really need it but let's see I think I just went a little crazy. Maybe went overboard there. I'm going to use a little. I should just be using like. Oh, I never finished my windows. But like, I think I could make these. Um, see, I, I mean, it could just go on and on and on. And I like this. So again, I know I'm repeating myself, but if you're bored, stop and do something that you're. Oops, I don't want that color. I wanted. If you're bored and you feel like that's overboard, don't do it. I enjoy it, and maybe it's still overboard, but I enjoy it. I want to go back under here. And I'm going to put the lace there anyway, so this doesn't really... I just think it needed to be darker. And I don't think I went down this side. I may have, but I was probably just being light-handed, and I am not a light-handed. I need it darker. Need to make that door pop out a bit more, too. Hi, birdie. Right? It needed that. Like, I could go around with a second color and darken it up. I think the Mendicino. But all right, I am going to go off camera and finish all my shading and really tweak it up, and I'll be back when we do our line work. Okay. All I did was a little light ivory, and then I thought, all right, you're getting out of control, but I want to highlight inside these windows, so I'm just going to do a float like this to put a shine kind of in the window. So you basically just load your brush like a float, like you want to float, and then you just go around, like just keep the color in the center, and just pull it, and... I just wanted to brighten it up in there and I did it down the sides of the posts as well I'm gonna put a little bit down on the bottom of here but I want to keep full of joy showing and we already highlighted I'm gonna use um, just a white line I want to highlight my birdie maybe just on top of his head he needs a he needs a wing, so I just put it like that, and then when I outline everything, uh, but I want to be done. I want to stop because I'm getting carried away. And oh, you know what I could do though? See, I could do the sun, just a little on this side. And this is all based on, like I said, my my decorative painting. Um, history because I don't know if I it's necessary. I'm just used to it and I like it. So that's why I did it. All right. Um, I was going to get out my Poscas and do all the um, like detail work with them. So that's what I, I think there's a little something here. I don't know what it is. All right. There isn't. Um, but that's what I would suggest doing, and I'm going to just paint my details on. I think I want to do some line work with paint instead of... Like, add this stuff around the windows. I think I'm going to use this blue. I really want to bring this blue back. It's super pretty. And I'm just going to use like a number, oops, 
a number three round maybe or I think maybe even a liner would be better because like I said I am a heavy hand and if I get a finer brush the result is going to be a lot less paint for me because I tend to load them up so this is like a number one script liner this is just a number one I'm going to use that and all I've done is put a little bit of water on my brush and now I'm going to outline this window and just be natural like just I'm a little shaky from the coffee but I'm just going to let the brush do the work and I don't know if I love it I think I want to oops I think I want to go on the window I think it's a little big so I'm going to take a butt wipe and just wipe it off gently but while the paint's still wet see and I might have pulled off some floating that some of the floating that I did in that area but that's okay I just while it's still wet you have plenty of time to get it off and that's why I say always keep a q-tip too handy it's just in the little nooks and crannies. And I can always go back and refloat. But I think I want to put this on the inside of the window because I don't want my windows to be super huge. And see how I took off some of the shading that I did? That's okay because I'm just about to. I'm going to put the blue there. And I'm really going to be a little more gentle too. But I want it to be on the window because I just don't want it to be that big. I like this better and I may even have this color in a Posca this color is this is called ocean reef blue but I think the blue of the Poscas is kind of similar to this super pretty blue I'm a little shaky from the coffee yeah, I really, I woke up feeling a little weird today, like, you know, monthly situations and all that stuff. Sometimes I just feel like, really just want to stay in bed. <laughs> but coffee helps. I love coffee. Mm. But it just makes you a little shaky. I'm going to go around the door. This is one really flashy house, isn't it? This is flashy. There's a little piece of the door down here. I'm gonna go around the one up here and maybe I will go around the outside of it gently. When I say that, I say it to myself because I just, sometimes I need to tell myself to be gentle because if not, oops, the paint gets away from me. Circles are the hardest thing to paint. They're so, they just get bigger and bigger. But I did pretty good. did pretty good that time. Um, I mean, you know, you might not love it, but I'm going to calm it down. Um, what else did I want to do? I wanted to make little, uh, so I think that's what I'm going to use the pen for. So I think I could be done painting now. The, the only other thing you might want to do is just kind of shade around the edges. But I kind of like it. I, I am, I love this piece so much. I need a doorknob. What color doorknob should I make? Just brown or something, right? No, white. Maybe white. It won't show up. I think I'll make it this Mendocino color. And then you can put a little, 
I'm getting my script liner. I don't know why. Some of this um, light ivory and make little highlight marks on your hearts. See, this is where the really cutesy um, mixed media stuff comes in because in decorative painting, you don't always do this stuff depending on the artist and the type of stuff you want to do, but you could make a shine on your windows. And you could even put shines on your fence, you know, like a line. Um, how about on the sun? I didn't do the sun. But I should do it this way. Like, a, like just a comma stroke. And now... I'm ready for line work, I think. And I am going to use my... Now, oh, I forgot to mention, before I started this morning, last night, before I went to bed, I coated the whole thing with matte medium. I just used this Liquitex matte medium. It's a fluid acrylic um, medium. that It's clear, but it will... It will then seal everything down below it so that whatever I do above it is you know so if I scrub at it, anyway I just wanted to seal the whole piece keep that color locked in and then work from there and it also gave me a more slick surface to work with um, when I was floating so all right I'm gonna continue this video I was gonna I could have done another part but boy you're being so good that little bird is just chilling all right I'm gonna dry it make sure it's dry and then I'm gonna do my line work okay everything's dry and here goes so back in the day I would have done all this line work with a brush and paint but this is the uniball vision fine pen it's waterproof and I like this for my mixed media a lot of people like the food ball there's I mean you guys can use your um Posca no 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 yeah your Posca's um, this one's a good one. I like the graphics, the Pigma uh, by Sakura. They have a lot of different, the Pigma, Mic Pigma Microns. Um, and then there's a Faber-Castell one. But this is just my go-to. So I'm going to put, you know what I want to do, like little, let me practice. Little brick marks. So I'm going to go, I just want a piece of paper because this doesn't seem to be right. Oh, there we go. So you just go make a line and a line and then make bricks. Something like that. Maybe they're a little too big. Um, and then, anywho. All right, oh, itchy ear. All right, am I zoomed in too much? And that does stay wet for a minute, so you can, um, move away from it and let it dry but um, you can also take this off because it stays wet for a sec you can take it off if you really went out of lines and you hated it but I really try to let the pen like I don't push too hard and let the pen just kind of um, glide across the paper now this is a much thicker paper so it definitely sits up off so I'm gonna go just around Actually, I'm just going to go around the top of it and make a line like that. Do the same thing. Well, this is, um, I painted on the window, right? And you don't have to make your lines connect or, so this is where you get to be imperfect and let your true, um, this is all you is what I'm saying. So, don't be afraid, just be you. I do like using the black outlines though. It really, 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 really makes it pop then.
Uh oh. I'll be back in a sec. Sorry, that was those guys. They're um, done jumping <laughs> at this place. It's called um, Get Get Air, I guess it's called. And it's a, a trampoline place, like where they have trampolines all over. Oopsie. See how I went on the lines? You just can take it off. So, um, anywho, they're going to get lunch. And I'm like, nope, I'm chilling. I'm in the craft room. Totally in. I'm in with this right now. So, see, I don't. I still don't like like how there's like a thickness there. Isn't that weird? Sometimes I can be picky about stuff, but that adds character. Like you can't. Nothing in this is wrong. It's all. Let's see. And then you can make lines on the door if you want. Oh dear. I know, Kirby heard that. I don't you guys probably didn't hear it, but there was like a big crash, like a she does not like noises like that. Fireworks. The big planes. Actually she's gotten used to the planes. We live near an airport. And um She's gotten used to that. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go down. Um, she's only 11 pounds. I'm sure the world must be super scary when you're 11 pounds. Kirby, was that scary? I know. I heard it. I know. I don't know why they make loud boomies, too. We also have some guy. I don't know if it's a guy. Could be a girl. Could be whatever. Shoots guns. Like, I mean, it's, it doesn't sound like it's very far away at all. So sometimes on a weekend, you go out there and it's just like guns, guns, guns. Like boom, boom, boom. All right, there it is. I gotta sign it. Is it done? Oh, I gotta, I'm gonna glue this on. And then I was thinking, um, it may need, like, see, that looks pretty good. I'm not hating it just like that. That looks super cute. But maybe I could put this. This is just another piece of that paper with the writing on it. Or am I pushing it? See, I, that's the thing. You start to push it and get like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't decide. But I think I love it so much. But see now, I do, I kind of want to add, but see not really. Final thoughts are, when it's your piece, if you love it, leave it. Because I know a lot of people add um, spatter and like maybe I should be adding more stamping on top or more black to the background. Uh oh, there she is. She just missed. Like, I could stamp a little bit of black, but honestly, I could just spatter it. I just think it looks good the way it is. So, I have to sign it. I guess I'll sign it over here. I don't know if I've been signing, and I, I should put February. Uh, I'm going to write it in my white pen because I don't know. I just think I don't really want to muck it up. I think it'll show up. I don't know if it'll show up. I have other color pens. Like I have blue. I have every color pen. <laughs> I have felt tips and oy vey vey. I have so many pens. Look at these. These are super cute. The Statler pens. I could write February with this blue maybe. I like this blue. F. E B R U A R Y. Doesn't really show up. I'll do it with a darker blue. And then what else? So do you want to see how this looks glued? I'm gonna glue it. I know I'm just going on and on, and those of you who like it, hang in there. If you don't, I'll see you later. See, I think I messed up my door. I don't like my door. Hold on. The door has I don't like these lines on my door. 
So that's what's good. You can take them off. I didn't like them. They were bugging me. So here's my Fabri-Tac. Ooh, I love Fabri-Tac. It's a great glue. See, and it's like, it's tacky. And it's also, um, it's more of like a gel, like a gelatin glue. It's not um, white. So it gets, it's tacky right away. So when I, as soon as I put this down, ooh, that was a lot. And maybe it'll make that black pen run which then I will definitely have to cover it with that little piece of um, word paper. Sticking to my finger. There we go. So now I think I'm going to go outside for a walk because it definitely got warmer since I've been up because I was going to go on the treadmill. Oh my gosh, it's so flipping cute. I don't know if it needs this. Maybe, but see, here's what I did too. Oops, a daisy. Hold on. Look, it has a, a little, um, I got to grab a piece of it has, uh, sorry, a little boogie coming out the top. All right. I want to put my lid on because I love that stuff. But I, all, I tried, this is just a piece of paper that I painted blue because I wanted to see what that would look like. And I kind of like that too. Oh, man, I wish you guys were here to vote if I was live. But I don't know. I think it's too much. I kind of like this better. And it has words. It says, true friends will leave footprints in your heart and then love is. I kind of like that. I think I'm going to do that. But it could also just be black. Like, what if I just had a piece of black? I don't know if I have black. Um, like, look, this is just a thin black ribbon. We can lay across and see. This is like a plaid. That looks so cute. Oh, I might just put that. I think I might just put that. It is super cute. Nobody has a house like this, guys. This is too cute. It's not stuck. It's just there. I like it. I think I'm going with it. And that's what makes this so awesome, too, is because when you did decorative painting, I really like these words, too, but that's okay. Like, I could just have put these all over the place, put more words everywhere. Um, like, it just never ends. You could just continue. Oh, my gosh, it's so exciting. But I am definitely putting that. I just like it. And then maybe I'll put some plaid checks on the piece, too. I'll show you. I'll show you what I have. Just need a little more glue, not too much. Because it kind of came through the lace, so there's some there. But this stuff, I'm telling you. Nothing will come off when you use this Fabri-Tac. You're good to go. And sometimes that's why I started using it because hot glue guns, I was doing projects like, um, what are they called? Um, assemblage or things like that with all types of stuff on it, metal, everything. And the hot glue gun did not hold it. Like I could pull it off like after a while, after weeks and months and years. I could just grab it and pull it and, and the hot glue would just come off, but this won't do that. Stop it. I don't know if I like that sticking out. I kind of do. Let's just go with it. And then I'm going to just take, I have a checkerboard. I never use this, but I do have, it's a Tim Holtz stamp, so it might take me a minute, but I know it's in here. Ha ha. I'm going to put a couple of these on here in black ink, and that's going to be it. I will stop. And I need to write my February darker. But let's get my archival. And this is it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. I really, really, really did. I really did. I don't know if I love that. Uh-oh. I 
I do. I like it. It's good enough. That one's super dark. <laughs> but I like it. So cute. All right. What else? I'm going to zoom out all the way. I love it so much. So, all right. That's our February. So, here's January. Because that, it was a snowy, snowy January for us here in South Jersey. And then February, I just had a lot of love in my heart this, this month because a lot of stuff's going on in my family. We're making big changes, and I really, really love this. So I hope you did, too. Thanks for watching. I forgot to do one thing. <laughs> just these crossbars, so I just finished them off. I never outlined them and it really makes a difference so I was like looking at the, the door and I was just like why does that look so weird well because I hadn't outlined everything yet so now it looks good all right thanks for watching